Welcome to this instructional video for the Dave Smith Instruments Profit 6 Editor from SoundTower. Before we begin using the Profit 6 Editor, we must confirm that the Profit 6 is set up to send and receive information correctly to allow the editor and the Profit 6 to communicate with each other. On the Profit 6, push the global button once. The global button displays a red LED and a red LED lights to the left and above the 0 to 9 buttons, indicating that the parameters in the top row can be accessed. The first parameter we need to confirm is MIDI channel. Click the number 2 program button. We can select any of the 16 available MIDI channels we wish using the bank select and 10 select buttons, but for now, let's use all. Next, click the 5 button to select Parameter XMIT or Parameter Transmit. Again, using the Bank Select and 10 Select buttons, you can select CC and NR. CC stands for Continuous Controller and NR is short for NRPN, which stands for Non-Registered Parameter Number. Continuous controllers are the basic set of available parameters over MIDI. These include things like volume, pan, and program changes. NRPN stands for Non-Registered Parameter Numbers. These can be defined as needed by the instrument and software developers to control many more parameters than could ever be done with continuous controllers. For the Profit 6 to communicate with the editor, we need to select NR or NRPN. This along with Parameter Receive set to NRPN allows the editor to control all the parameters of the Profit 6. This also assures that the changes that are made on the controls of the front panel of the Profit 6 will be reflected in the editor window. We will confirm that once we get the other settings on the Profit 6 set. So as mentioned, push the 6 button to set the parameter received to NR or NRPN using the Bank Select and TENS Select buttons. Push the 7 button and confirm that MIDI Control Enable is set to ON. This turns on the communication path. The 8 button selects the cable type that MIDI SysX will send on. SysX is short for System Exclusive. This is set to allow additional data to be exchanged between the Profit 6 and the editor. Most current instruments incorporate a USB port to allow easy connection. However, in larger rigs, sometimes a traditional multi-port interface is used, requiring the use of standard 5-pin MIDI cables. For this example, we will use the USB connection. Use the Bank Select and 10 Select buttons to set MIDI SysX cable to USB. Click the 9 button and set MIDI out to USB. Once these settings are complete, click the global button twice to exit. Next, let's open the Profit 6 editor. Click on MIDI, then MIDI Setup. Your screen may appear somewhat different depending on if you're on a Mac or a PC or what your exact MIDI setup is in your studio. Here we see the Profit 6 appearing as an available connection. Confirm that the global MIDI channel is set to all. If we click on the Profit 6 on the import side and the Profit 6 on the outport side, we will see that the Profit 6 is now online. Once the Profit 6 is showing online, we can exit this window. To confirm the connection, we can adjust parameters on the Profit 6, and they will be reflected on the editor. And we can adjust a parameter on the editor, and it will be received by the Profit 6. For those using a standard MIDI interface, on the Profit 6, click the global button, click button 8, set MIDI SysX cable to MIDI, Click the 9 button, set MIDI out select to MIDI. Click the global button twice. And again, back to the editor. Click MIDI, click MIDI setup. To keep it simple for demonstrating, I have the Profit 6 connected through an old two port MIDI man interface. The Profit 6 is connected through the A, In, and Out ports. If I select those two ports in this window, the Profit 6 once again comes back online and is ready for editing. 
Again, to confirm the connection, we can adjust parameters on the Profit 6, and they will be reflected on the editor. And we can adjust a parameter on the editor, and it will be received by the Profit 6. The Profit 6 and Profit 6 editor are now communicating correctly. We hope you'll enjoy using the Profit 6 editor to reach inside this powerful instrument.